Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is another video on 3 by 3 complex matrix and uh, I'll be using a slightly different technique for solving this and also some students had difficulty uh, in calculating delta 1, delta 2 and delta 3 etc. So we'll discuss that. So this is the equation that we'll be solving. So straight away we'll write it in matrix form. So this is the matrix equation and uh, I'm sure you have learned earlier how to find current I1, I2 and I3 and we'll use the, this formula now. For I1 it is delta 1 over delta, I2 delta 2 over delta and I3 delta 3 over delta. Now what is delta 1, delta 2, delta 3? So let's go to the next slide to see that. This was the matrix. The first thing we'll do is we'll assign it some variables as shown here. So we assign this as A, B, 0 remains as it is, then C, D, E, F, X, Y and M. Now how many values we can assign? Up to 8 because from the calculator you can see these are the values A, B, C, D, E, F, X, Y, M, 9 values. So we can assign all these nine values, no more than that. Okay. So now that the values we have assigned, first of all we find the uh, determinant delta. So this is the determinant and we can solve it from here directly but there is an easy way that we just write the values of the variables. So like A, B and 0, C, D, E. Now from here you can easily write the equation that A multiply by this matrix. That means A, A, D, X minus F, E. D, X minus F, E. Then minus B and then C, X minus 0, E. So we just write C, X. So this is delta. Now for delta 1, the only thing I have to do is change the first column with the output. So this was the output. So we bring it at the place of the first. And then again we just copy the variables here and write the equation. So it will be y delta x minus fe. Similarly minus b this 0 minus me. So this is how we got the delta 1 equation and for delta 2 we have to replace the mid column do the same technique get the equation and for delta 3 we have to replace the last column or third column with the output and write the variable equation and uh, from here um, uh, you can write the complete equation. So we have all deltas now and now we can take help of the calculator to solve this. So this is now we will uh, uh, add these values in the uh, calculator and for that we have to enter the value in the calculator and press store and then press the value of the variable so we will see that and then we have all these equations, we have to enter all the equations one by one in the calculator and we will get the answer as shown here. So I am just showing it so you, you, you know that these are the answers expected but we will see in the, in the calculator working. And finally the current can be calculated delta 1 we put at the numerator divided by delta. So this will be the value of current that will we should get from the calculator and same is for del I2 and I3. So let's see the calculator. Now we'll assign these values uh, in the computer. First of all 2 plus uh, J3 to be given name A. So for that we'll write 2 plus 3i 
and then we'll press shift store so shift store and variable a without alpha we simply press the negative sign for assigning variable a so this is has been assigned now we clear this minus j3 is for b so minus 3 i shift store b done then minus 3 is c minus 3 store c clear minus 13 is d minus 13 shift store d clear then e is 20 20 shift store e and then j20 is f so 20 i is stored as f and then 1 minus j18 is x so 1 minus 18 i store x clear then we come here j12 is y so 12 i store as y and finally minus 8 is m so minus 8 assigned store as m okay so all the values we have assigned and now we'll uh, solve the equation here so for delta this is the value and i have already written the answer just for you to compare actually this is what you have to calculate so let's first of all enter this and now we have to press alpha for each entry so alpha a bracket dx minus f e so alpha d alpha x minus alpha f alpha e bracket closed minus b c x minus alpha b we could write directly cx without bracket alpha c and alpha x and for answer we press equal so 310 minus 380i so this is what we have noted so this was the first value for delta 1 we'll use this equation so clear y dx minus f e y bracket d x minus alpha f alpha e bracket close minus b minus m e so minus alpha b bracket minus alpha m and alpha e bracket closed and press end equal sign 
to get the answer. So 1992 plus 324i. 1992 plus 32, 324i. So this was delta 1. Now we calculate delta 2 alpha minus me. So alpha bracket minus alpha m uh -oh. alpha m e alpha bracket minus alpha m alpha e bracket closed minus y c x alpha y alpha c and alpha x equal sign 968516 this is what we have written here and then finally delta 3 ADM A D M there is no need of putting bracket because uh, the simple multiplication minus B C M so B C M and plus Y C F plus Y alpha C and alpha F equal sign 928 384i 928 384i so we have calculated all the deltas now we'll calculate the currents so for that we will select this uh, div uh, division sign up and down sign 1992 324 1992 plus 324 i denominator 310 minus there equal now this value uh, is in fractions to get it a proper values we have to press SD so now you can see it is 2.05 so 2.05 and 3.56 so this is the answer uh, I have already written it but you have to actually do it like this and then write okay the next value is for I2 Delta 2, 9, 6, 8, same thing, 9, 6, 8, plus 5, 1, 6, I, and denominator, 3, 1, 0, minus 3, 8, 0, I, answer, Again, we press SD, so 0 0.4324 to 1.96i, and the last part is 928, 928 plus 384i, and denominator is 310 minus 380 i and this value is again press sd so this is 0 0.58905894 so this is how you calculate the uh, currents through with the help of delta delta 1 delta 2 delta 3 Thank you.